Hello, and welcome to our second negative numbers lesson. And here we are, today we're at the zoo. And you can see there's three zones here. There's the Arctic world, the nocturnal world, that means animals that come out at night, and the oceanic world, creatures from the ocean. And the question says, what is the temperature in each of the worlds? What is the difference in temperature between oceanic world and nocturnal world? And to make it a little bit easier, hopefully you can see the temperature's a bit clearer there. Okay, so if you have a look at the thermometers, they go in steps of two degrees. So they go up in steps of two, two, four, six, eight. But they also go back into negative numbers in steps of two, minus two, minus four, minus six. So if we have a look at the Arctic world, not surprisingly, it's the coldest, minus eight. So we have a look where zero is. It's really important that we start at zero when we're reading temperatures or looking at anything with negative numbers. We look at zero and we go back, minus two, minus four, minus six, minus eight. The temperature for nocturnal world, we'll have a look at that zero again first, and we're gonna go back one step, okay, to minus two degrees Celsius. And in oceanic world, things are much warmer. We go forward two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, but actually, it's a little bit further than 12, but it's not quite 14. So it's in between 12 and 14. What number is that going to be? Yeah, it's going to be 13. 12, 13, 14. So the odd numbers are in between the jumps of two. And question B. So what is the difference between oceanic world and nocturnal world? Well, oceanic world is 13 nocturnal world is minus two. So we could count back one step at a time until we get to minus two. But a quicker way of doing this is to think if I go back 13 steps, that will take me to zero. Okay, because if we've got 13 and we go back 13, that will take us to zero, to the starting point. And then we count on one, two more. So that's a jump of 13, and a jump of two. 13 and two is 15. So the difference in temperature between oceanic world and nocturnal world is 15 degrees Celsius. Right, let's have a look at the think together question. What are the temperatures in other parts of the zoo? Have a look at the Meerkat Mansion and the Coal Zone. Right, let's have a look at those questions now. So in the Meerkat Mansion, can you remember what I said is the most important thing to do when we're looking at negative numbers? That's to find the zero point. And there is zero on the thermometer. Okay, we don't start from the bottom of the thermometer. We start our reading from zero. And you can see this is a positive temperature. So we now need to count up one, two, three, four, five. And you can see the temperature there is exactly on five degrees Celsius. So five degrees Celsius. And in the cold zone, what's the first thing I'm going to do? Find that zero point. And you can see this time it is in negative numbers. Okay, the reading is going to be a negative reading. So we're going to count down two, four, ah, it's past the four, but it's not up to the six. So it's in between the four and the six. What number's in between four and six? Of course, five. But it's not positive five, it's negative five. So the answer is negative five degrees Celsius. Right, let's take a look at question two. What numbers are shown by the arrows? Well, what do we need to do first? Well, we need to find that zero point. And you can see here is zero on the first number line. When we find zero, we can count back. Now we need to find out what the steps are. Are they in twos again? 
So let's go up and go two, four, six, eight, five. No, they're not going up in steps of two. So let's try that again. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, the intervals or the steps go up in single digits, okay, in ones. So we're going to count back in ones. So minus one, minus two. So if I count back from zero, it's minus one, minus two. And here we are. Are the steps the same? Let's find out. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, steps are the same. So we're counting back. One, two, three, four, five, minus five, minus six, minus seven. So we count back all the way to minus seven. Now, where's that zero? Ah, you see now it's moved. If we hadn't checked for the zero, we might have said this was minus seven as well. Okay, so it's important that we check for that zero. And now we're counting back. Minus five, I'm doing this in jumps of five. Minus five, minus 10, minus 15, and one more. Well, that is going to be minus 16. All right. Okay, it's time for you to do some work now, looking at the worksheets that are along with this uh, video. If you manage to finish them all, why not have a go at the challenge question here?